All right, guys, look who is finally back joining us for a video. But basically, we got campground season coming up. And for yes. those of you that have been following along, you know that Haley, aside from her four other jobs, being permanent <laughs> cosmetics, running <laughs> my bookkeeping, and everything else, she also manages like 70 campgrounds mm -hmm. for Plumas National Forest. And because we're getting pretty close to opening, she was wondering how much snow there was up there and asked me if I would take her flying. This is the first time ever. I'm getting yeah. the excuse to fly the wife. Hey, don't bookmark that. Yeah, but there is one caveat because she's the one that has to know where everything is. I'm gonna make her navigate. We're gonna see how you are with her basic directional awareness in the plane because it's funny how people that are used to being on the ground go in the air and they have no idea where they're going, so. I have markers. We're gonna see how she does. So I plan forgot is, my Plumas map at home. <laughs> I don't think you would know where you were on the map. It's a big, it's a map is bigger than the cockpit. So the whole idea, I'm gonna fly, she's gonna navigate. Let's see how this goes. to warm up. Do you know which way we're going to start? Yes. Do you know which way is north? Honestly, I'm just going to follow the freeway. Okay, where's the freeway? I'm going to make you go left. So we're going to take off and you want me to go that way? You're going to take off and then you're going to follow the pattern. That's your job. And then I want you to go north. North is which way? Hold on. I need a reference of where our house is. Our house is that way. No, I need you to go. The traffic, west. Cherokee 52. And then I'm going to have you follow. The traffic, Cherokee 6514 Whiskey over flying the field 7,000 feet. We're entering a left downwind from runway 8. A busy day out here. Hello, this is Haley. Get out of our way. Okay, so I need you to go on 395 and then get off the <laughs> portal <laughs> exit and head up Highway 70. Highway 70. We'll find it. Look, you're navigating. I'm just the I'm just the guy controlling the sticks today. And you're just wanting to see how much snow is still up there, right? Honestly, I have to. We don't open up until May 21st, but I need to get up there and take photos. And we just had a couple of big snowstorms. As you know, you were snowmobiling. Yep. And so I just want to see kind of what they're looking like. It's the traffic. Freedom Fox taking runway 8. It'll be a left downwind departure or westbound. Side traffic, Cherokee 14 Whiskey, left base runway 8. Yeah, so 14 Whiskey who just radioed, that's the plane I learned to fly in, took my check ride in. So funny how you can how you can butter those things up and make them look all shiny with the new paint job. <laughs> yeah, it was not so nice when I was flying. Yeah, when we hopped in there, I was like, oh god. Old 1964 Cherokee. Just level this bad boy off for me, okay? Once we get up to a safe altitude, I will level this bad boy off for you. <laughs> Babe, remember it's just like a river, flowing, got a little bit of wind coming from that way over those mountains, it's just going to go like this. Oh my gosh, it's going to be bumpy, I know it. <laughs> Ooh it is bumpy. Alright, am I going the right direction? Uh, yes. <laughs> I just like, I need like a minute. So far, you're off to a good start though. I'm not going to give away too much, but you're going the right direction. So I think we're going to have to pop over these mountains and then go over Long Valley. Long Valley's over there, but you're thinking Sierra Valley. That's what I said. That is what you said. <laughs> my bad. Like the best winter. <laughs> oh my God, I hate the upward drafts. I do. I really do. No, I should just look at a map. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Oh. What? What? I'm, I'm having a panic attack. No, you're fine. There's a plane right off our right. You see him right there? Traffic. Uh, where? Okay. He didn't see us, huh? He might have, because he kind of turned right when I did. I had him on ADSB. He's going so fast. I don't even know what is that. <laughs> that is a Cessna. Crazy fast, huh, Haley? Oh, he's going way faster than us. Well. You know what I like, don't like about navigating is I can't see when we're gonna get there. What you can do if you wanna is there touch an the airport screen, in you, Bucks Lake? There is a, in Quincy. Yeah, there's Quincy Airport. So you should punch in Quincy, and then I'll I'll navigate Bucks Lake from Quincy. Okay. Campground. Is that okay? Because yep. I'm just taking us to Quincy. Uh, okay. Bucks 
lake, it's covered. It sure is. Wow. Well, good thing Bucks Lake doesn't open up for another 45 days. <laughs> now we have 31 mile an hour on the nose. It's going to take us a while. We're going 70 miles an hour over the ground. Aww. Do you know which way home is? I do. Home is that way. Which way? East. Yep. So we're going to head east and I can see the Petersons. Yeah, I think you're actually looking at the right thing. That's good. You know what, baby? I always know which direction home is. <laughs> that I do know. I am impressed. Thank you. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne the bathtub I'm blasting. Uh-huh. I could be a glider pilot. You could. Huh. Do you feel that? Yeah, we just lifted. Oh, nope, I feel that, whatever the frick that is. Is that us in it? Yep. We're, we were climbing at almost a thousand feet a minute right there. Free lift, babe. Don't even have to put fuel in to do that one. Yep. Any extra fuel. Yeah, and I wish, the, I know these cameras don't show it, but now I am leveled and we're just climbing at a constant well, I noticed 600 we, feet a minute. Yeah, because we were just at 8,300 and we jumped up to 88. Yep. And you can tell now, see how low the nose is on the horizon? And we're yeah. still climbing at 500 feet a minute. So what's happening is that wind is just going up and down and we were just in one of those downs. That's like what my heart's doing right now. See how if we were in a glider. Okay. <laughs> how if we were in a glider and we could find something like that, you could go forever. Because all you gotta do is just ride that upward air. Right. Mountain flying. <laughs> and we go quiet because we both don't like bumps. I know. I just want it to just smooth out a hair more. Me too, Haley. I'll put in a request. Please do. Hey, can you guys uh, smooth the bumps out, please? Hey, listen. All right, well, that was, uh, I guess, less eventful than I kind of expected. She did a, a lot better than I thought she would at navigating. She has a pretty good directional awareness. So this is now another day. I'm back out at the hangar. Just did my annual condition inspection with the mechanic. It looks like I'm due for a transponder check and my ELT battery is expired. So got the ELT battery on order and I am uh, gonna schedule transponder check. So for the meantime, I'm down. So I guess I'm not flying for at least the next few days, so I'm gonna go ahead. We're kinda doing springtime activities. As you can tell, it is t-shirt weather. I'm gonna put the snowmobile away in the hangar and then head home. I think I'm gonna have a couple buddies over and ride the Suron track. Good one, honey. Yeah, dude. Took a digger. Hell yeah. Slap the bars, keep going. 
<laughs> Howdy. Do you use Squarespace? Yeah? That's right, because it's really easy to use, huh? Have you used their award-winning templates? They even have e-commerce if you want to start your own e-store. You could sell Hudson merch and build it with their easy templates. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even have to say that. You've been watching too many of my videos, dude. 10% off if you go squarespace.com forward slash Trent Palmer. Yeah, for your first purchase. But little insider note, I don't think they track it. So even if you're getting more than one purchase, I think you could do it again. Oh, little hack. Little life hack there. Oh, oh.